Welcome to another one of my travel videos. This one is entitled Hainab Dimri Shanghai Fordtown London Park. I started this video in the parking lot of the old West La Follette School. I should have waited until the sun had set in the west a little more. There's a few spots on this video where I get a glare out of the sun, but it's not really that bad. And uh, I also did a little bit of research before I did uh, the voiceover on this video because there's some places that I want to talk about. And I wanted to make sure I had my information correct, because if I didn't, somebody would call my hand to it. We're on uh, West Beach Street, get it, getting ready to turn right on South Tennessee Avenue. This video is about 45 minutes long, and uh, I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking. I'm just going to add information when it needs to be added. You can tell by the police car there, that's City Hall to the left. And we turn and we're going up South Tennessee Avenue. This is called Riggs Hill. I did a video of uh, the dogwoods in this area. I don't know if I still have that posted or not. You may recognize it if you've been watching my videos. There's a subdivision off to the left called uh, Linden Park. Uh, my family moved there. We were about the third family to move in over there in, uh, in the Second World War. It was one of the only subdivisions in the area. To the right was a place called Francis Flair Garden and that uh, bank in the spring was just covered in in uh, flowers. We're going to turn to the there's a Y up here and we're going to the left and then we'll be on Claiborne Road going through a community called Indian River Village. Indian River Village is one of the older areas of La Follette. At one time, this uh, was the most expensive place in La Follette to live for a while until some other places uh, started building houses. This is a beautiful area through here. I have some friends that live here. My family moved into this area during the Second World War. My father went to work at Oak Ridge during the war. And as I told you, this, uh, I don't know if I told you or not, but this uh, video is 45 minutes long. And I'm not going to do a lot of talking. Because mainly it's just scenery anyway. There's one particular place on this road that I want to tell you about, though, when we get there. And um, you can see the glare from the sun. If I'd waited about an hour and a half to do this from the time, I think I did this about 2.45 or 2.30. If I'd waited... Uh, an hour or two later I probably would not have gotten that sun glare. It's only in portions of the video. There's not enough of it to really run your experience of seeing the countryside. Now we're on uh, South High Knob Road. Uh, we came on this road back there. Oh. 
hundred yards or so when I, before I started talking. South High Knob Road. And this goes into Dimry Road. We're getting ready to go over Norris Lake. This portion of Norris Lake during the winter time when the lake goes down, there's the lake is not there, it's just a creek. Used to call this the Iron Bridge. There's an old iron bridge. Had a load limit of like five tons and they finally took that old bridge out and replaced it with a new one. We're going up uh, High Knob Road and we'll eventually wind up on Dimry Road. Used to ride my bicycle when I was just a kid. This was before I started riding racing bikes. There's someone walking there. I can remember coming down through there and uh, they had just put tire on the road. Probably was because it wasn't uh, um, paved and uh, not tire but oil. And uh, I've thought about that. I, I, I bet that oil was saturated with PCBs <laughs> because they used to put it on the roads in this area to cut down on dust. We're going up Dimery or uh, South High Knob Road. We still get some glare from the sun. That'll go away here shortly. This is a pretty area of Campbell County. I wish I'd had my GPS unit with me until I could have gotten the altitude of this spot I would have given you that information. It's pretty high back up through here. Back when they had uh, antennas on the house for television people that lived on High Knob could really get TV out of Knoxville because it's a clear shot. You can see the lights from the the tower the television towers in Knoxville from up here on this ridge. To the left is the High Knob Baptist Church. There on the left as we continue on up High Knob. And we continue to pick up some glare from, from the sun. When you, um, if I, what am I trying to say? This camera right here does not have a, a sunshade. A more expensive camera would have a sunshade on it. Eventually I'm going to purchase me one. But right now I'm limited to this one. We continue to climb. This high knob is beautiful. We start down. Now we're coming off of high knob. More glare from the sun. I have other areas I plan to go to do videos. I'm discovering that uh, a lot of people like to watch these. The last uh, video I put out there, uh, the one of Carival. I loaded it and by the next morning it had received over a hundred unique views from around the country. Once these videos are up on YouTube for a few days I can go into the insight function. Now we're coming out on Dimry Road. We'll be turning left on Dimry Road. I can go into the insight function 
and I can tell where all the views are coming from. I can even tell how long people watch the video on an average. Now we're going up Demery Road on our way to Demery. We're going to pass a, a famous store called the Demery Mart. And I was surprised to see that uh, that store is empty. I was really surprised. There's a lot of traffic through here. It's a nice building. It would be a good place for some kind of business. Now, this has a lot of traffic in the summer. People going out to Shanghai boat dock. Which is where we're going. We're on the Demery Road. There's a, a right hand turn. You can uh, see the sign. There's a, also a boat dock out there. I haven't been out there in a while. But uh, let's see where the sign's at. We're coming right there. We're coming up on it. So. And we're going to top the hill. And off in the distance, you're going to see the Baker Forge Cemetery. And what this cemetery was, and still is, although uh, some of the people, local people, are, are buried there in the Baker Forge Cemetery, this was a re-internment cemetery from the Tennessee Valley Authority in 1934 when they uh, built Norris, uh, Norris Dam and backed the lake up several graveyards were in the path of the Norris Lake waters and they removed those graves I think there were some other cemeteries but uh, this is one of the primary ones uh, Baker Baker Forge Cemetery off to the left was a TVA reinternment re cemetery. You'll see it on the way back because I keep this camera running and when we get to Shanghai I turn around and come back and you can see it going back the other direction back toward London Park. And they call that Baker Forge Memorial Cemetery. You can see some more of the cemetery there to the left. And we're going to turn left at the Y out here by the dim remark. I know it is the dim remark. I don't know what the last business was that was in that building. And we'll turn left on Shanghai Road. I had a good friend that grew up out here. In fact, uh, he was my boss at Bechtel when I worked there. In fact, he got me the job. Okay, we're going up on uh, Shanghai Road, and he grew up in that area. And we're on Shanghai Road, and there's not much I can tell you, so I'm just going to sit back and watch it with you. Excuse me. I 
I've been down this road several times, beginning from back in, I guess I was in this area in the 30s. I was born in 1938, and uh, my family would come here quite often after the lake was constructed. Uh, my dad had a boat. I know I was here in the 40s because I can remember it. And the boat dock back then was uh, very small. They had uh, flat bottom boats that they rented, but shortly you will see that uh, this area has really taken off in the last few years. Some people came in and invested quite a bit of money to build it up. They've got a beautiful dock out here. And no, I wasn't paid to say that. In fact, I don't even know the people that own the dock. But uh, facts are facts, and it is a beautiful boat dock. I would definitely put it on my list of places to go if I came to Campbell County. There's a dog checking me out. There's Shanghai's sign. Trailer park, travel trailer park off to the right. Some of those trailers look like they're lived in uh, year round. Now we're coming up on the dock. If you remember it the way it was, you can uh, easily see that they made a lot of improvements. Once I mount my camera, I'm limited to whatever it's seeing. I pull over, I think right here, to try to give you a better view. speed bump here. I didn't know it was there at first. Bam. I hit it. <laughs> Pull around again to give you a, a view. See how they built that up? It's beautiful. And this parking lot circles around. And then we'll go back out on Shanghai Road, back out to Demry Road.
Now you can see it going in the opposite direction. Before high definition video, you couldn't do a video like this because you could get uh, fairly good quality, but but not enough to make it interesting. The thing about high def is you can see off in the distance just as clear, which gives you a, a good perspective of the area. And I always use my camera on, uh, I don't zoom it in. If you, if you zoom it, you lose some of the perspective. So I, I try to keep it to the point where it looks fairly normal, where it looks basically the same as it looked to me as we uh, drove out of there in my automobile. Another thing that I found, I like to watch um, airplane videos and uh, I discovered some videos. Of course the guy, he doesn't work for Insular Air anymore. He was a co-pilot. They flew an MD-80 uh, down in the Caribbean and he would uh, place his camera on the dash of that airplane and keep it stationary. When you're zooming a camera around, you, you lose an effect because, you know, that's one of the... It's not a secret, but a few people, they don't realize that... Uh, that that uh, is not the the way to do a camera. You you're better off keeping it in one position, and that way, as you go along, you can look to the right and the left, the same as I'm looking. Because you know, if you're zooming or uh, I said zoom, I mean pan. If you're panning the camera around you're going to get it into angles where people would normally not look that way if they're looking at something, especially if you're driving. <laughs> so, I do these videos basically straight ahead. Camera stationary. We're on Shanghai Road, coming up out of Shanghai. Still picking up some glare from the sun occasionally. I'm pulling over here to let a car around me. Evidently they were in a hurry, hurry because they they were moving on. When I do these videos, I kind of poke along. I just, I hate to hold up traffic, so I always try to find a place to pull off and let people go around me. Makes you want to move out here, doesn't it? <laughs> I can imagine if you're living in a city and you'd like some wide open spaces, Camel County would be a place to come. There's a lot. They say that Camel County is number 64 in the nation on the list of retirement areas. I don't know if that's true, but uh, I've heard people say that that would be in a position to know. And I believe it because if you get on Norris Lake in a boat and you travel around on Norris, you will be absolutely shocked at the beautiful homes that have been built in Campbell County on that lake. In fact, it's just spectacular.
and I'm an advocate for Campbell County. I've lived here all my life, off and on, between here and other places. My other favorite place is uh, North Carolina, and I hang my hat up there quite a bit. Okay, we're getting uh, ready to come back out on uh, Demery Road. And that's the Demery Mart off to the right. It's a nice building. And the road that goes down by there goes out into an area. Uh, all of this area around here is uh, a magnet for tourists during the summertime coming to uh, Norris Lake. Norris being one of the cleanest lakes in the TVA chain. Up on that ridge is where uh, the Baker Forge Memorial Cemetery is that I told you about. Quite a few people living in this area. Uh, one of my son's best friends grew up in this area, went in the military, became a lieutenant colonel, and now he's the manager of the Chamber of Commerce. You can see we're picking up the sun there again. My son is a fly fisher, fly fisherman, and he uh, does, he constructs bamboo fly rods, and he currently has an article that he has written for Southern Trout Magazine, and he writes for other magazines. And he has a, a blog called The Perfect Drift. Blogspot.com. We're still on uh, Demery Road. We're going back the way we came until we get down there to uh, High Knob Road, and we don't go back on High Knob Road. We stay on Demery Road, and I'll show you where that is when we go by it. I pull over here and let another guy get by. Driving a white truck, I think. Yep. You can probably hear all the fans running on my computer. I built my own computer. I just uh, picked up different components and put it together. It looks like something from outer space because the case that I purchased is humongous. But it's got several fans to keep uh, the thing cool. I'm running a Intel i5 Sandy Bridge processor and I've got an Asus motherboard in it. We're still on Demery Road. Here shortly we're going to pass the cutoff to High Knob Road. I don't think we passed it. I was so busy tell, telling you about something else unrelated to this video that I could have... There it is. That's High Knob Road right there. So we continue on Demery Road.
beautiful day today. It's the uh, 13th of December, 2012, waiting for the 21st and the Mayan or Mayan calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh me. You can tell I'm worried about that. If that's all I had to worry about, the 21st of December, I would have n absolutely no worries whatever. So if we have a a solar storm that uh knocks out all the computers, then it won't make any difference. You won't see <laughs> you won't see this video anyway. I saw a cartoon where they had a stone calendar, you know, and the guy said he didn't have room to put uh, 2013. And the other guy said, well, that'll be freaking people out one of these days. <laughs> Still on Demery Road. That uh, road right there, I think, uh, goes to a place called Sudeni. There's all kinds of uh, boat docks in this area. And in the summertime, this area is really crowded with people coming in to fish and just enjoy the water sports. You can see Norris Lake here. There it is off to the left on this curve. Just about any direction you go out here, you'll run into Norris Lake. I remember coming through out on this road when there was not a guardrail there. And it's just a straight drop off into the lake on the left hand side there. Still on Demery Road. The city of La Follette uh, just completed a beautiful park here on the right. I have uh, a video I think I did from this area People who live around here call this the White Bridge. And they've constructed a new bridge. It used to be narrow, and two cars could barely pass. But they've improved that when they built this park on the right-hand side. And we're going on over Norse Lake on what most people call the White Bridge. Picking up some glare from the sun. We could turn right there, but I go on up here and turn to the right. I turn right at the Cedar Hill Baptist Church up on the left. The Cedar Hill Baptist Church is to the left, and we turn right on Robin Lane. And out in this area, these roads change names um, for no apparent reason, I guess. I, Okay, this is Robin Lane that we're turning right on Robin Lane. And when we get up here to the stop sign and go across the road, we'll be on Summers Road. And when we go around a curve, 
it uh, goes into loop road according to the map okay now we're on Summers Road and now we're on Loop Road And up here at the stop sign, we cut left on Lakeshore Drive. We're turning left on Lakeshore Drive. There's kind of a hidden, there's a, a shrub a, a row of shrubs there you can't hardly see. Now we're on Lakeshore Drive and we're going, getting ready to come back out on Loop Road. <coughs> Excuse me. People who live around here or who have moved away and watching this video, uh, they're familiar with all this area. If you happen to come into this video and you just like watching things like this to see new places, uh, glad to have you. We turn right on Loop Road right here. We were on Loop Road, went into Lakeshore Avenue or Sh Lakeshore Drive, and then we're going to turn right on Loop Road. And we'll go through a community called Fordtown. I could drop names, but I'm not going to. There's some famous people from this area. There's a group that that lived off to the left there that are world famous singing group. And that's the Fordtown Baptist Church on the left-hand side of the road there. They built a new church. They used to be on the right-hand side out here. I'll show you where that was at. We're still on Loop Road, and this is Fordtown. I used to live in a house back on the ridge to the right years ago over there. I don't know if the old Fordtown Baptist Church is still there or not, but we'll see when we come up here. Yeah, there it is on the right. Okay, the church on the left used to be in that church there. I don't know who has that church now. We're still on Loop Road. Indian River Village is off to the right. We'll come up here and get off a of loop road and it uh, merges into South Tennessee Avenue. Claiborne Road goes to the right. South Tennessee Avenue goes to the left. And down here at the bottom of the hill, 
we're going to go down Linden Avenue. This is Linden Park. My family, I think, was about the third family to move into this subdivision during the Second World War, around 1943. My uh, father worked in Oak Ridge during the war. And there's a famous person who lives on this street, too. And I'm not going to drop any names, but uh, he's world famous for a company he owns. Okay, we're on Linden Avenue, and this goes into Linden Circle. And my family, I'm sure, this is close enough that it's, uh, I'm sure it's exact. My dad was the third person to purchase a house in this subdivision, and it's right on the bottom of the circle. Of course, these houses look old now because they are. They were built in the 40s during the war. And I don't think you're going to be able to see the house, but right there where that fire hydrant is off to the left is where, uh, where I lived when we moved to uh, London Park. And then we're going to turn right on Riverview Drive. And at the top of the hill, when we turn left, we'll be on East Kentucky Avenue. On this curve, it becomes East Kentucky Avenue. And we're going into the sign again. And at the stop sign, we uh, are back on South Tennessee Avenue. We started this video on West Beach Street. And we're going to conclude this video on East Beach Street. We're getting ready to go down Riggs Hill. You can see the beautiful Cumberland Mountains off in the distance. I wake up each morning and look out my bedroom window and that's what I see. That's my routine each morning to look out and check the mountains. Down here at the four-way stop, at the start of this video, we, we turned right here uh, on South Tennessee. And now we're going to turn right on East Beach Street. We came down West Beach. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching my video. Have a good day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.